We're starting our exploration of memory a few miles up the coast from La Jolla with a man whose own ability to create memories vanished almost entirely a decade ago. Ever since, he's been helping researchers from the University of California, San Diego. Hey, good to see you, by yeah. Today, Larry Squire and Jen Fraschino are on the latest of many visits the team has made to the man known to memory researchers everywhere as E.P. Nice oh, oh, it's wonderful. Got a nice sun for the camera. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little work? We're going to go in. You're going to do some work with Jen. E.P. is now 82. In 1992, retired from a career in electronics, he suffered an acute virus infection that destroyed part of his brain. And development. That's what I like. Most of his thinking skills survived the damage virtually intact. Why should people pay taxes? To support your country and your counties and states uh, to pay for things. If you were lost in the forest during the day, how would you go about finding your way out? I would find a river and follow the river down to wherever it may go. Mm -hmm. Ocean, lake. EP can also copy complex drawings. About it, huh? And he not only has no difficulty repeating back a list of words, in this case, dog, raccoon, lion, and parrot. Dog, raccoon, lion, and a parrot. Good but he even has a little sly fun with Jen along the way. What you gotta add is about two more. Oh, really? Then would that I make it that, tougher? Then that would catch him. <laughs> seven, you know. Leaf. Medicine. EP really Shell. hits his stride when the testing of his cognitive Swing. skills involves Jen's laptop computer. Gold. Having been in electronics over the years, I am amazed at all this. It's just wonderful. Believe me, little printed circuits, just, oh, you can't believe it. It used to be in a six-foot rack, and down to this, it's just wonderful. When I was in electronics, this would be in a six-foot rack. But it's now that something odd about EP's behavior becomes apparent. Printed circuits, diodes, triodes, and all that stuff in there, oh, it's just amazing, believe me. When I was in electronics, this would be in a six-foot rack. This would be in a six-foot rack. It would be in a couple six-foot racks. This would be in a six-foot rack. This would be in a six-foot rack. <laughs> And now look at it, down to this, little printed circuits and... So he's not aware that he's told us three or four times that he used to be in electronics, that the, a computer used to fill a room, and that now it's down to the size of a microchip. He, he's just not aware that he's said those things several times. No, he? no, he tells us the same stories again and again. We've heard these stories before, and yeah. we'll hear these stories again. <laughs> the equipment that it takes. <laughs> how was it? How, how have you been? You've been enjoying this. Uh, oh, this I session. enjoy but, this. Yeah, absolutely. It is interesting. Isn't look it? at look at the, the work you guys are doing. You're getting wonderful. I believe. I'm sorry, I forget her name. What's her name? Her name? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, Jennifer. 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 Yeah. I'm sorry. Have you? Uh, oh. Uh, have you met Jennifer before today? I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not positive, though. Yeah, okay. well, I'm sorry, my No. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all have. Well, we all get that one. Oh, sure. sure. <laughs> How much have you worked with him? We have probably visited his house 200 times. 200 times. And for him, is each time the first time for him? Well, you see, it's yes and no. It's clear that he does have a record of the experiences that are based on the habits, the interactions, the emotional values of the interactions, the fact that they've been positive and not negative. Uh, he certainly uh, lets us in the door faster. I mean, like you saw, he didn't, he couldn't tell you my name. Yeah. He couldn't tell you if you saw me before. But there's, there's, there's definitely a rapport there that I think is, has been built, and he's aware on some level. I read you some words about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Four of them. Four words. Do you remember me reading you four words? No, I can't no? recall. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> Don't need to My apologize. mind is getting old. That's okay. <laughs> I read you four animals, and I want you to tell me yes, if you think the animal was on the list I read you about 15 minutes ago, or no, if it was not on the list. Wonderful. Okay? okay? Cat. Yes. How sure are you? I feel reasonably sure reasonably on that cat. Sure? Uh-huh. Raccoon. No. 
Oh, no, I feel no. Giraffe. Yes. How sure are you that I I'm real that sure on that. Real sure? They're a beautiful animal, okay. believe me. Lion. No. Okay. EP's inability to remember things that happened just a few minutes ago can be traced directly to the damage the virus inflicted on his brain a decade ago. The areas destroyed were in his temporal lobes, most critically, a structure called the hippocampus and the brain tissue immediately around it. Without a hippocampus, E.P. lives in a permanent present. Anything new that happens to him simply doesn't get recorded. Do you remember drawing something for me today? No. Drawing something about no, 15, I, I, 20 minutes ago? No. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. Yeah. Thank you for trying. Thank you. <laughs> but although E.P. can't record new memories, old ones from the years before his hippocampus was destroyed are remarkably intact. He grew up in Hayward, California. How about your house on Castro Valley Boulevard to the Hayward Theater? Do you remember where the Hayward Theater is? Yes, uh, I would leave the house and turn to the right to A Street, That's down A Street, this Street to Castro. Boulevard and turn to the left, and it's in the middle of the block. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and if you didn't go down to A Street, if you instead took, you could take another street. Oh, uh, what would the you do? Center Redwood Road. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Redwood Road would run right into it. Unbelievable. Man. How about the um, public library, Hayward Public Library, from uh, uh, your house? It'd be the same thing going down A Street and. Uh, and uh, A, you have to go to the left to B, and it's on the corner. He's got, I don't that, he's got that map part. in his head. He can see there, all these streets. He used to ride his bicycle around. The last thing I want to talk to you about is the neighborhood that we're in now. Here. How about any of the streets around here? Can you tell me any of the street names in the neighborhood here? No, I cannot I that's hard. that's t that's a tough one yeah, yeah. I'm that's sorry tough. no you don't need to yeah. apologize oh I know where Castro Valley Boulevard but that's Absolutely. where I was born and raised Absolutely. but right here I have to say no yeah. I'm sorry yeah. no I just lived right here okay. yeah. enjoy the world Try rather enjoy than our driving. area right okay. here okay <laughs> You seem to enjoy your life. Oh, I have. The enthusiastic help of amnesics like E.P. has pinpointed the hippocampus as crucial for recording new memories. Yeah. Places that was just, just wonderful. At the same time, the fact that E.P. has vivid memories from years before his hippocampus was destroyed means the hippocampus can't be where they're permanently stored. We love it here. It's to probe more deeply into how memories are formed that we're meeting another amnesic. 